good morning I am here and you must have been wondering if I'm coming on this morning I am here I was just finishing a, a painting and so as you come on this morning we'll talk about that and whatever else the Lord wants to do good morning Heidi lovely to see you this morning and so just waiting for some more to come on and uh, I hear my music has just stopped. Give me a minute. Let me just go and reload it. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, lovely to see Miguelie and Adele and Kristen, Taylor and Hada. And Jenny Hardesty, lovely to see you, Jenny. Teresa van Veek, and Lani, and Sharon van Dyke. 21 of you already, that's awesome. Really great. Ah, oh, thank you so much uh, to Leah, Rattle, and yeah. Everybody's saying good morning one to another and to me, that's wonderful. Um, I wondered if you would, hello, lovely to Vermont, uh, Kristen, United States of America. I wonder if you would be prepared to just listen to the music so long while um, others start to come on board. Let's move this a little closer to the new painting I was doing this morning. The outpouring in the upper room. So I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave the music playing and the painting on the easel. Well, I'm just going to the other side of the room to fetch my Bible. Good morning. Lovely to see you all this morning. Uh, so this morning, when I started out, I was going to use some of the time together online to do the painting and talk as I was painting. And then... And then what happened is the painting, when you paint under the Holy Spirit, then um, it goes so quickly. 
and before I knew it, the painting was complete. <laughs> and then I quickly just rushed to, um, to come online. So this is the outpouring, look at all of them waiting. And there they have the fire on their heads. And this is the Holy Spirit or the Lord uh, from um, Isaiah 6 in the train of his robe for the temple. But this is very typically the upper room. You can see the arches and the window. And so many of us that have gone to the upper room can identify that that is where they waited in the upper room. So yeah, that's what happened. The painting just grew quickly and um, I don't draw, I just paint straight onto the canvas. And so there it is, outpouring of um, Pentecost in the upper room and the Holy Spirit came and filled them all with fire. So here we are. Shall we pray together before we start this morning? Let's pray in the spirit. Not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Rende yanda, o ke rende yanda. This is the season of my unveiling of my sons and my daughters. He sende yanda. I am awakening them. I am bringing them back to the face place. There has been a trimming of the wicks and there have been many that have seen that the oil is ready. So stand up, says the Father. Stand up, show up and watch and see what I am going to do. For my glory shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. This is the season of my glory realm. This is the season of my glory realm. Rabba Shanda Yende Ikerendi Yanda Otorondi Yende Kerendi Yende. I'm bringing you in. I'm bringing you in to my divine alignment. You feel like you've been waiting around in the outer court, but I'm bringing you in into my face place. I'm bringing you in, for there is a fresh alignment, says the Lord. And even though the nations are shaking, I will steady you. I'm putting a rod of steel in your back. I'm making your forehead like flint. Turn your, way, your eyes away from the troubles of this land and put your gaze upon me, says the Lord. Yende yondo korondi yanda yende. I'm igniting inside of you the freshness of the oil and the freshness of new wine. For have I not changed you into fresh and new wineskin, says the Father? Have I not put a new courage and a new boldness upon you? The boldness of heaven. For you shall roar, even as the lion of the tribe of Judah roar, so you shall roar. Even as the oceans roar, there will be a roar, a roar, a roar from my people. There will be a release of sound that is needed at this time. So do not be silent. For did I not say that this is the year? In fact, this is a decade of sound. Sound in the heavens and sounds on the earth. Rabashanda yende, kerene sende yende. By faith, by faith, by faith, by faith. We think of that chapter of faith. By faith, Noah. By faith, Abraham. By faith, by faith, by faith. Thank you, Father, that you have given us a level of faith, that you have increased our faith. Yes, we will have faith. It's not about finding faith in us. We have faith. It's will there be faith in the earth? Will there be faith in those that are going astray? 
Rabba Shanda Yende. From faith to anointing, from anointing to glory. From outer court to inner court to the Holy of Holies. From Father to Son to Holy Spirit. Three standard cord cannot be broken. He has created you, spirit, body, and mind. I thank you, Father, and the three are one. And the spirit is the part of us that is awakened. Everything else is subject to your glory and to your spirit. Let your glory fall. Let your glory fall. Let your glory be upon us. Let your glory increase on us. The glory, the glory, oh, the glory. The glory of our God. The glory of God is not a power, it is God. He breathes glory. He speaks glory. He is the glory. It's also part of the heavenly realm. Come up here where I am, says the Lord. Oh, the glory. Oh, the glory. Oh, the glory. fire by night and the cloud by day, the glory, the glory, that's the glory. Father, we ask you to, today to unlock the realm of glory, for it's part of our inheritance and you've given us free access. May the glory be upon us. May the glory be upon our families. The glory be upon our homes. The glory be upon our communities. The glory be upon the nations. Just linger a little bit in his presence. Thank you for the glory. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory.
presence. Right now, right now, right now, I just sense the glory of the Lord coming into your homes. Like a mist, like a glory cloud settling on you. When his presence comes and his glory comes, there's shift and change. And that that is stuck is released. Answers to your prayers are being released this morning. The way is open. The curtain has been rent. Come boldly. Ask of me, says the Lord. Thank you, Father. Sure. Such an anointing. We enter by faith. Then we sense the anointing. Then the heavens open and we walk into the realm of His glory. Sure. In the realm of His glory, in the heavenlies, you can see the heavenly furniture. You can see the throne. You can see the angels that have been created to worship day and night. to see things the same anymore children of God in the cool of the day when you look at the trees you will see the glory of the Lord hovering in the trees when you look at this ocean you see the glory of the Lord coming in on the waves such a discernment. God is increasing the realm of perceiving the angelic realm, the glory realm. For his invitation is that we worship in spirit and in truth. Spirit to spirit. Open our ears that we may hear. Open our eyes that we may see. Quicken our hearts as we find you in the realms of glory, Jesus.
difficulty in your body as we're standing in his glory. Let the glory soak. The glory of his presence soak into every joint this morning. Let his healing uh, flow, flow over you. What is done in one manner of a second in the glory takes forever with man. Fill our bodies with your light. Let the blood that is in the heavenlies course through our veins, repairing even our DNA. I see in the glory, glory realm, in the spirit of heaven, I see this most beautiful crystal bowl. And in there are the prayers, the accumulated prayers of the saints. being mixed with the incense of heaven. And they're about to be turned back onto the earth. Things that you have prayed and waited for a long time. Seasons that we have waited and as the prayers of the saints and the incense of heaven come together, it's like there is an electric communication in the air that even results in thunders and lightnings. As we have called from earth, fathers answered from heaven. And things begin to come into place. Go 
glorify your name. Your name, your name, we glorify your name. God is our refuge and strength, the very present help in trouble. That is Psalm 46, verse 1. And he will glorify his name in all the earth. Not only the earth that we see around us, but the earth inside of us. And we look away from the troubles of this world and we take his hand and we walk with him in the paths of righteousness for his own name's sake. We glorify your name, O Lord. this morning is healing you. His presence is filling you. His presence is permeating your home wherever you find yourself this morning. Fill our cups, Lord. We lift them up. Sometimes we cannot rush in the garden of the Lord. We just wait on him.
Psalm 46 verse 2. <clears throat> Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, we will not fear. I pray that later today you will also go back and soak some more in his presence. I believe even yesterday as we started to speak on faith, anointing, and the glory that our hunger was beginning to be awakened and we were coming into a new place. As we also spoke about the number three and that it's Father, Son and Holy Spirit and the three are one. That we are spirit, body and mind but the three are one. This morning I want to say to you that one of the keys into the realms of glory is worship. Worship. Worship Him. Worship in your home. Have worship music playing. Let that music just, even if instrumental, let it just permeate your home. Let the presence of God come like a mist and a vapor. That is one of the manifestations of the glory, is a mist. And I shared that with you, that how I saw the mist in the building in Dublin. And I've seen it even at at our own ministry, when we were meeting in the facility. There are times I take off my glasses and have to re-clean them because I keep thinking it's my glasses that are misting up. He comes as a cloud and he comes like a mist. And that anointing of glory waters you, refreshes you, soaks the garden of your life. Your worship and your praise attract the glory. Sometimes when the glory comes, nothing more can be done as our bodies bow, as our minds bow. When they stood on the mountain, There was a glorification that took place at the presence of those in the glory realm from heaven was seen on the mountain. And the disciples said, let us quickly build booths Referring to the fact that we are not dwelling in buildings made by hands. But that we are in these booths that are put up and moved from place to place.
We have come into a season where we will see the glory in unusual places and in unusual ways. For the glory of the Lord covered the mountain when Moses went up. So when he came down, he was saturated with the glory. So much so that he needed to cover his face because it was so bright. I wonder how they felt, they that waited at the bottom and said, you go up. This is not a season of transferring glory. This is a season of us together in inviting his glory. This is the season where we fellowship in the glory realm. This is the result of an invitation where the Lord says, come up here. Come up here. When we live in the flesh, there is animosity, Jealousy, splits and schisms. And I say with reservation, even when we're just playing in the realm of the gifts, there can be jealousy and pride. But when we move beyond anointings, to the realm of where he lives, the glory. All of these things become foolishness. As a whole, our whole being is subject to his presence. The glory can render us helpless in the flesh. And I believe that we have stepped into a season of these end, last days or the end times where you will be caught up in the glory and in visitation, not for an hour, but even for days at a time. For Father has shifted our focus from that that is measurable, that that is touchable, and that that has been made by hands, to that that is immeasurable, that that is untouchable, and is not made by hands. He loves to give his children gifts, the gifts of healing. But when we come into the glory, healing flows anyhow. How wonderful, how kind, how excellent, how awesome. How amazing, how august is our God. He put the glory on Adam and Eve right from the beginning. It's not an afterthought. Your mantles and your scrolls are in the glory realm. And he is clothing his children, those that have been called out and set apart with his glory. 
Great signs and wonders will be seen on the earth and miracles will be seen. And by these miracles and by these manifestations and by these, the, the glory of the Lord, people will know the Lord. And they will come to you and ask of the hope of your calling. He has gone ahead of you. There are some of you this morning that are on this live that are saying, we've been in the river, we've had anointings, we've prophesied great and mighty things, we've experienced his power, we've experienced the laughter, We've experienced him. I want to tell you, it was a deposit. It's going to become your dwelling place. As you are in the realms of glory, healing will flow. That is why the shadows could heal people. Because it's not about your shadow. It's about the glory forming the shadow. We have crossed into that new day. We have crossed into our new season. We have crossed into a new space. Let us not live in the corner with the little wash and basin. But let us stretch, let him stretch us that our tabernacle can accommodate the glory that he has kept for us. Oh, the glory Oh, the glory, oh, the glory, oh, the glory, oh, the glory. May the glory of the Lord cover the earth. So the glory isn't in, only in the heavenly realm where we got to come up into the glory, but the glory can also come down upon the earth. You can carry the glory. You can release the glory. Glory, glory, glory. You are his glory carrier. But first, we got to go in to the glory. By faith, we come. By anointing, we access. And the result is the glory. The glory. Lift up your eyes and look all around and see the glory of the Lord. I want you to ask the Lord to bring his glory upon your business, to bring his glory over the things that are stuck let your glory unlock the locks, Lord. Let your glory settle on our families that they will prosper. The other day I mentioned that as we came back from our holiday and we drove into Fishuk, I felt that oppression and as I've been studying and looking at the glory realm, I felt the Lord say, but you can ask me to release your, my glory over that region. For why would he call us to a region for it to be tightly shut up like Jericho? 
when they walked around the walls of Jericho and they weren't allowed to make a sound, they were in fellowship with heaven. They were waiting in the courts of the Lord. This little mouth can sometimes speak death into what God wants to bring life. And therefore they were not permitted to speak anything, but to walk around. I feel that I had a word of knowledge yesterday. And now the Lord is quickening a story to me. I remember the story first and tell you the story. There was a farmer who had many chickens, but the chickens were being taken out by the hawks flying overhead. Picked up, gone. And the chicken, uh, the farmer took little red ribbons and he tied it around the chicken and the eagle did not touch one chicken that had a red ribbon on. That's a story, a true story. Now let me tell you that the blood of Jesus has marked you. It covers you. The enemy cannot move beyond the veil of the blood. And I feel the word of knowledge being, and you have to take it, weigh it, say it's for me or it's not for me. I felt that we should tie a scarlet thread or a red ribbon on our doors and on our gates. Yes, we've done Passover, but some feel so stuck and some feel so plundered. You know, there's that song Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. If you still want me, I'll get off the bus. No, if, if there's no yellow ribbon on the tree, he'll stay on the bus and forget about us. Remember that song? Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. I'll stay on the bus, forget about us. And so I feel that we to tie red ribbon, red cloth, red fabric on our door and on our gates. That the contracts that are stuck will be open that the blessing that has been delayed will be released. Take a bottle of oil and anoint the soil and tie a red ribbon over your circumstances. No, the ribbon is not magic. It's a reminder of the blood of Jesus. I was going to teach, but I think the experience that we've had in these presents and the little bit that I've shared is it. It's, it's Shabbat Shalom. It's Friday. Let me show you again. I was going to paint while I spoke this morning. Put the canvas on the easel. Many people ask me, why do you, pa do you paint so quickly? When you paint under the Holy Spirit, it just flows.
That's a lovely confirmation, Avril. She says, I took a palm, my palm cross off the door a few weeks ago and I felt I should tie a red ribbon on the door. Isn't that beautiful? And so I started to paint as I was going to paint with you present. And the painting went so quickly that it was complete. <laughs> and I couldn't um, wait. I just finished it. And so this is the, the Lord um, and his robe filled the temple. And this is the outpouring in the upper room. The outpouring in the upper room. And the Lord's train filling the temple. Be blessed today. Father, thank you for your sweet presence. Thank you for the warmth that we felt in your glory realm. Thank you that everything of the day just faded as we waited in the place of worship and the place of your presence. May we have many more times of tabernacling with you. I think of those three feasts, Passover, Pentecost, and tabernacles. And we are moving to tabernacles. Tabernacles is in September. But we don't need to wait for the Feast of Tabernacles. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May your peace increase. For he will present you faultless before the Father on that great and wonderful day. Because when you come into the glory realm, your, your self-effort disappears. And the glory of the Lord is seen upon you. And the blood of Jesus speaks for you. Wow. Have a wonderful day. I will see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Shabbat Shalom. Rest in Him. <laughs>